Hello, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter, and this is just going to be a brief overview of how we wire up our Radian HDMI down converter, our LawMate systems, for the 360 Sinistar gimbals. And with this one, we are using the Grapner, the MX12 transmitter, and the GR12 receiver. So first to power all of this is our 3S light bulb that's spitting out 12 volts. So that is the voltage the law mate runs off of. So the battery is just gonna plug into this Deans. We chase these wires through these two booms out into the wiring harness for our law mate. So that's getting clean 12 volts right there. And now for the radians, the HDMI to SD converter and the servos, we need five to six volts. So we're gonna use one of these Castle BECs, these battery eliminator circuits. And we actually tuck that inside the carbon boom. You can't actually see it, but imagine if this BEC was inside that boom and we're pulling the 12 volts off of our 3S light bulb. That actually is going to Y into the BEC. So 12 volts in through these wires. The BEC converts that down to 5.1 volts and then it'll travel down this wire out the back boom into our GR12 receiver. And from there, the receiver is going to power everything from the servos to the radians to the HDMI converter. So just to recap, 12 volt battery straight to the 12 volt law mate, 12 volt battery to the BEC, converts to five volts, five volts into the GR12. And once again, the GR12 will feed five volts to our radians. It's going to daisy chain it. Um, for the servos and the HDMI. So for the GR12, we're gonna pull the PPM out of channel six coming out. And first, well to set that up, first we'll turn on our MX12. And when we first turn it on, we're gonna make sure everything stays nice and still so the stabilizers can initialize. So you'll see the green LED go from a fast blink to a, a slow blink. So now they're all ready to go. And to pull the PPM out of our MX-12, we'll hit this left button here. You'll see settings and data view. We'll um, click set, go to the fifth screen, and on the bottom it will say sum O, which means sum out which is the PPM signal feeding from channel six through the rest of the system. So now what's going on is we are feeding our PPM and our five volt signal out of channel six out into port one of our pan radian. So into port one, we are feeding that out of port three back to port one of our roll radian, back out through port three, into port one of our tilt radian. And then for the servo, we have the port four being used for the respective servo. So port four out of the tilt radian is the tilt servo. Port four out of the roll radian is the roll servo. And port four out of the pan radian is the pan servo. And once again, a reminder with the lead the wire that would normally go to the potentiometer that now is getting the resistor plugged into it so the potentiometers are no longer being used with the radian system so yeah just a quick reminder remember to plug the resistor into the end for both the pan roll and the tilt servo and one more thing is since we have five volts running through all of this and the HDMI converter runs off five volts, we can actually pull five volts right out of our tilt radian to keep the wires nice and short. So once again, I'm taking my five volts out of, well, I'm using port three for this, out of the tilt radian, and that's actually powering my HDMI to SD converter. Now for camera control, we are using our aileron on our right stick for pan and the elevator up and down for our tilt. 
And then this switch over here, which is a three position switch, is for the first position is off, the middle position is fixed stabilized, and the third position is for slew stabilized. So when everything is off, once again, nothing's moving, nothing's being stabilized, and you'll see a slow green blink on all three radians. When we go to our middle position, which is our fixed stabilized, you'll see the green LED go solid on the tilt and the roll, but stay blinking on the pan. You're gonna get stabilization on the tilt and the roll axis, not on the pan, and also you will not be able to control the gimbal with the stick. When, it's not only until you go to the slew stabilized mode, the third position, where now you have stabilization on all three axes, plus the operator is able to pan, tilt, and you can see we're getting pan, tilt, and real stabilization. Also, you can see for this, we have the copter being elevated off the ground by these Pelican cases. And what's going on there is if you were to um, start up in the slew stabilized mode when you first turn it on, you would see the copter start to pan around. So for the camera operators, remember when you first start off, it's on the ground. The stabilizers have calibrated, they've initialized, either have it in off or the fixed stabilized. And it's not until the pilot has taken off and it's off the ground that you can now go into the slew stabilized and control your pan and tilt. Once again, when it's time to come back after the flight and land, take it off of slew stabilized and either go into fixed stabilized with the middle position or off. So once again, um, what's happening is as soon as the gimbal hits the ground, you're in slew stabilized. Once again, the, the top copter is gonna start to pan. Um, but yeah, so yeah, just be aware of that.